Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Nunta, the Crochet World. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Like, share and comment my videos. And today we are going to do this beautiful pattern for a banana. Now uh, you can use this uh, for um, as a keychain. Or you can simply put your magnet here. Uh, you can stick your magnet here and you can use it as your um, fridge magnets. Uh, it's a multi-purpose thing and uh, I've used my amigurumi method for this one this banana now for this banana i've used my 100 percent cotton yarn and i have used my two and a half mm of the hook so let's begin okay so here i have used two colors one is a white one is a yellow and we're gonna begin with the white color and for the white color just have your yarn and make a magic circle here so we're going to have a magic circle. So this is the magic circle. If you don't know how to do a magic circle, just have your yarn around your fingers like this. Make an axe here and put this other, the second strain of yarn at the back. Take your hook and grab your yarn in this way. And this is your magic circle. Now here I'm going to chain up one. Now this chain one, I will not count as any stitch. I have just chain up one here just to make my magic circle secure so do not count this as a stitch and now i'm gonna make another five single crochets into that magic circle so for that one insert your hook into this magic circle grab your yarn and you're gonna have two loops like this and now yarn over and pull your yarn through both the loops and that's your first single crochet so this is a first single crochet and then we are going to do another four single crochets so it's two three four and five so here we have our five single crochets and just pull your loose end a little bit like this and insert your hook just pull it a little bit more and now insert your hook into your first single crochet so here it is this is my first single crochet so i'm going to insert my hook into my this first single crochet we'll grab my yarn and i'm going to have two loops now as we are starting up our next round round number two i'm going to make my first single crochet here now remember i'm not making a slip stitch here and chaining up one instead of doing slip stitch and chain one i'm gonna start directly my round number two by making this first single crochet so yarn over and insert and pull your yarn through both your loops and that's your first single crochet now to remember that this is your first single crochet put your stitch marker here And we're going to do two single crochets into each stitch now. So as we have done one single crochet here, we're going to do another single crochet into that same stitch. And we're going to keep on doing two single crochets into each stitch. And by the end of this round, round number two, we're going to have our 10 single crochets. So keep on doing two single crochets into each stitch. And by the end of this round, you're going to have your 10 single crochets. And I'm gonna meet you at the end and here it is we have our 10 single crochets for round number two pull your loose and a little bit tight like this and now we're gonna take out this stitch marker and we're gonna start our round number three and for our round number three insert your hook into this first stitch grab your yarn and make a single crochet so that is your round number three and your first single crochet put your stitch marker back and we're going to do one single crochet on each stitch now for round number three and round number four for two rounds we are going to make one single crochet on each stitch so for round number three and round number four we are going to have one single crochet on each stitch so for round number three and round number four we are going to have our 10 single crochets.
crochets and I'm gonna meet you after round number four remember we are doing this round number two and this is my first stitch for round number three and I'm gonna meet you after my round number four okay so I have finished up my round number four and this is the first stitch of my round number four so I'm gonna take out my stitch marker and I'm gonna turn my work so turn your work and this is gonna be the front portion of your work now for round number five insert your hook into your next stitch grab your yarn make your first single crochet and put your stitch marker back on remember you're doing your round number five now for second stitch do two single crochets into that one stitch so it's one and two now next stitch we're going to do one single crochet and into the next stitch we're going to do two single crochets and by the end of this round we are going to have our 15 single crochets into this round round number five so keep on doing And here it is for round number five i have my 15 single crochets and now here from round number six to round number 14 we are going to have one single crochet on each stitch so for the next stitch we're going to start up our round number six here and this is the first stitch of my round number six and we're going to have one single crochet on each stitch now so from round number six to round number 14 we're going to have one single crochet on each stitch and each round we are going to have our 15 single crochets and i'm going to meet you after my round number 14 one four and here it is i have finished my 14 rows and it looks like this now for round number 15 i'm going to take out my this stitch marker and will insert my hook into my first stitch i'll grab the yarn and we'll make my first single crochet for round number 15 and Put my stitch marker back on and now we're going to decrease our stitches so insert your hook into the next stitch grab your yarn and into the next stitch and grab your yarn and you're going to have three loops now yarn over and pull your yarn through all your three loops and that's your second stitch and that is how we are going to decrease our stitches so for the next stitch make your single crochet and for the next two stitches we're going to decrease our stitches so it's one and two yarn over and pull your yarn through all your three loops again next stitch one single crochet and again next two stitches we're going to decrease our stitch and by the end of this round we're going to have our 10 single crochets by the end of this round round number 15 and this is my last stitch my tenth stitch that's going to be a decrease here like this now we're going to insert of a soft toy feeling inside so for that one just have your soft toy feeling and put it inside remember not to make it too tight and not to make it too loose as well like this and I'm gonna take out my this stitch marker and now I'm again gonna decrease my stitches so insert your hook into your first stitch grab your yarn and into your next stitch and again grab your yarn and make another decrease here and that's going to be your round number 16 your first stitch put your stitch mark on and into the next stitch 
grab your yarn into the next stitch grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through all your loops and you're gonna have your five single crochets here all decrease and now we're gonna take out the stitch marker and this is my last stitch so i'm gonna pull my yarn and i'm gonna pull a little bit longer yarn and cut your yarn here secure your last stitch And we're going to leave it here. And we're going to do this yellow part now. So now for the second part, take your another yarn and make a magic circle here. Grab your yarn. Make a chain one. Now this chain one is not my stitch. I'm just securing my this magic circle here by chaining of one. Now here, into this magic circle, we are going to have our seven single crochets. So insert your hook into that uh, magic circle. Grab your yarn and make seven single crochets. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Pull your yarn. And now insert your hook into your first single crochet, first stitch, grab your yarn, make a single crochet for our round number two. So that is our first single crochet for our round number two and put your stitch marker here. And now we are going to have two single crochets on each stitch for our second round. And by the end of this round, we're going to have our 14 single crochets. And here it is for round number two. I have my 14 single crochets and I'm going to take out my the stitch marker and will insert my hook into my first stitch. We'll grab my yarn and we'll make a single crochet here. And this is the first single crochet for my round number three. Put your stitch marker back on. And we're going to have one single crochet on each stitch for this round, round number three, and for round number four. So for round number three and round number four, have one single crochet on each stitch. And you're going to have your 14 single crochets for each round, for your round number three and four. And I'm going to meet you after round number four. Here. Okay, after round number four, I'm going to turn my work. So that's going to be my front part. And now for round number five, take out your stitch marker and insert your hook into your first stitch. Grab your yarn and make a single crochet. This is the first single crochet of your round number five. Put your stitch marker back. And here into the next stitch, we are going to do two single crochets into this one stitch. Now the next stitch, we are going to have one single crochet. And for the next stitch, we're going to have two single crochets and keep on repeating one single crochet and then two single crochet. And by the end of this round, round number five, we're going to have our 21 stitches, 21 single crochets. Okay, so after my round number five, I have my 21 stitches here. Now I'm going to take out my the stitch marker and I will insert my hook into my first stitch and will grab the yarn. And make a single crochet and that's the first single crochet of my round number six and i'm gonna do one single crochet on each stitch for this round round number six until round number ten so for round number six seven eight nine and ten for this five rounds we're gonna have one single crochet on each stitch and for each round we are gonna have our 21 single crochets and i'm gonna meet you after round number ten and here it is. I have my round 10 finished and I'm going to take out my stitch marker. And for round number 11, round number 11 is going to be our last round. 
and here I'm going to insert my hook into my first stitch. We'll grab my yarn and we'll make my first single crochet and we'll put my stitch marker back on. Again into the next stitch we're going to insert our hook and we'll make our second single crochet and into the third stitch we're going to do our third single crochet. So for three stitches we're going to do one single crochet on each stitch and now for the fourth stitch we're going to yarn over and we'll insert our hook into that fourth stitch grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through all three loops and that's your half double crochet so one half double crochet now yarn over and insert your hook into that same stitch grab your yarn and we're gonna make double crochet here so yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and again yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and that's your double crochet so into the fourth stitch we have done our one half double crochet and one double crochet now into the fifth stitch yarn over twice insert your hook into that stitch fifth stitch grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and yarn over for one more time and pull your yarn through two loops and that's your one treble crochet now again into that same stitch this fifth stitch yarn over three times one two and three one two and three insert your hook into that same stitch grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and for the last time fourth time yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and this is on our fifth stitch now for the sixth stitch the next stitch yarn over again three times one two and three and insert your hook into your sixth stitch the next stitch grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over pull your yarn through two loops yarn over pull your yarn through two loops and for the last time fourth time yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops now into that same stitch the sixth stitch yarn over twice remember not the three times twice yarn over twice insert your hook into that stitch grab your yarn and yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops now into the next stitch the seventh seventh stitch yarn over make your double crochet here and into that same stitch the seventh stitch insert your hook grab your yarn make your half double crochet here like this now again into the next three stitches we are going to do one single crochet on each stitch so one two and three and we're going to repeat this pattern so do your three three single crochets and then repeat this pattern and you're going to do it for three times and i'm going to meet you at the end here and here it is i'm here at my last stitch and i'm going to do my one double crochet here and one half double crochet into that stitch and here I'm gonna take out my the stitch marker, insert my hook into my first stitch, grab my yarn and pull it through all my loops and we'll make a slip stitch here. And I will tight my tighten up my this last stitch, pull it and cut your yarn here. Just pull it, secure your last stitch. That's it. Now take a needle and insert your loose end inside this and take your other part 
and here as we have left this part here just secure your this end part like this and now insert your needle here and grab it And that's it. I hope you have liked my today's tutorial. If you have liked, please like, share and comment on my videos and please subscribe to my channel and I will see you into the next video. Till then, bye.